Oh my god, this feels good, Allie. The be back. It must see as must see wrestling's on the air, folks. I'll tell you that much, right? Oh, I agree, Duke. I'll tell you what, right now, I mean, this is going to be exciting, man. We're in Vegas tonight. Yeah, we are. This is going to be great. Oh, my gosh. I mean, uh, this is going to be exciting. We have a new owner to actually care. Did we have a new owner? And I'll tell you what. Uh, yeah. Hello there, wrestling fans. Uh, Duke Calloway coming from you from Las Vegas, Nevada for another great, uh, exciting episode of Musty Wrestling as we present the return. I'll tell you that much right now. This is going to be great. It's great to be back. We were going to be back on Wednesday, but Six Killer found out he ran out of wrestling arena in Vegas, and he says, let's run. He's like, screw it, let's run it. So right now we got Bobby Six Killer. Ah, look who comes back. It's Splash Mikey. Ha <laughs> ha. He comes out of hiding finally. Wow. So Bobby Six Killer, the new owner of uh, the ma new majority owner of Must See Wrestling. Indeed he is, Duke. Indeed he is. Well. And I'll tell you what, this is going to be exciting. I mean, Six Killer was like one of the greatest general managers here in Musty Wrestling history. If you've been with us throughout the years, and uh, one of the most popular. I wonder what our new majority owners got to say. He gives it. He says he'll basically just give insight to Chris Bad and his wife Jade about stuff, and uh, maybe put his two cents in. But that's about it. He's not going to try to over control them. Let's get the ring right now. And there he is, folks. Bobby Six Killer. Great to have him back. In beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Holy cow. Right in a nice outside arena. Nice weather for it, too. I'll tell you that much right now. I mean, this is just going to be great. Hello there, wrestling fans. I'll tell you what, nothing feels greater than to be back and somewhere I've been uh, very successful in. I'm going to tell you that much right now. It feels great to be uh, managing this whole, uh, this owning this whole thing, basically. And I'll tell you what, fans, I'm going to make it up for you guys. And it's for you fans. I'm going to try to give you big time blockbuster matches. I, I uh, must see wrestling's been doing that, but uh, there's been a little controversy. And I'll tell you what, there's been a lot of people running off to other areas. You know what, you're welcome to come back here, but I, I'm going to tell you what, let me forewarn you right now. If you quit on my time, or Chris Bat's time, you know what, you can just stay the hell out. That's all I'm going to say right now. You can just stay the hell out. Because uh, fans don't need somebody, fans need a hero, not, not somebody that's going to run away. Okay? Now, let me explain something to you. Tonight, the big main event is going to be a triple threat Extreme Rules World Title match. Marcus Cass is going to defend against Ronnie Taylor and Kyle Ben. Originally, it was Ronnie Taylor because it was a, I promised him one on one match. The contracts promised him one on one match. And I'm going to have to do something about that light there. I do apologize. But uh, until then, we'll, we'll take care of that. And the same thing about Reverend Morbid. So whoever wins this Triple Threat Extreme Rules match tonight, you better prepare. You got a ticket next weekend to defend against Morbid. I'll tell you that much right now. And also tonight, uh, Nick Camarado and Tyler Bateman, the Doom Crew, has decided to uh, exercise their claws for the uh, a World Tag Team title. So we're going to do that. Not only that, we got a battle roll to decide the winner of that matchup is going to get a shot at the world champion Akira. And also, the runner-up is going to get a shot at universal champion Dana Brooke later on tonight. I'll tell you what right now, this is going to be great. And uh, also, we got the AEW Contenders Battle Royal. And it's not, it's, uh, what is it, Tony Khan has promised that 
line up A, your best men, and uh, let them go at it. The winner will get a shot at Kenny Omega next weekend, too, or this Wednesday, I heard. All right, let's get the show going, boys. I'm feeling stoked. I'm feeling excited. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'll tell you what, man. I, I'm happy to have a jubilant owner back. I mean, nothing against Preston Rhodes. I'll tell you what, Preston Rhodes was a nice person, and, um, and I hope he's recovering real well. Well, coming up, the matchup tonight is going to be Falls Count Anywhere. Bratton Bomber against Morgan Frost for that TV title. Oh, of course, they didn't put the TV title thing on. There's some things that never change. No, nah, Duke, there sure isn't. And I'll tell you what right now. I mean, this. this I'm stoked. I thought for a month, I thought on the first was going to be our last day. Yeah, I was about ready to down the waitress dress and go work in a Greasy Spoon restaurant. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't know. What, what about your little boy toy, Eric Foreman? Uh, wouldn't will, will he take care of you? Nah, you know what? I, I, we had one date so far, and I'm still, I got, I'm still deciding if I want to continue that relationship. Nothing against him. It's, it's me. I don't feel too, uh, yeah, I feel too confident. Yeah, I'll tell you what, right now, this is going to be good. Well, the lineup looks stacked tonight. Two segments long tonight. Let's put it that way. Of course, Bratton Obama against Morgan Frost. I, and I think I know the reason why Six Killer put these two guys first, because I guess they want to see how the matches are going to follow this one. I mean... This is the, usually they say the opening match is important because it sets the bar. Oh, you better believe it. And don't forget, we got Tony Schiavone in the back doing interviews tonight. He's uh, come over here from AEW to help us out. Good old Tony Schiavone, great WCW veteran and everything else. I'll tell you that much right now. And there he is, folks, Brad and Obama looking to get his TV title back. This guy looks determined. He looks stoked. I forgot NFL season started off there, but you know what? I'm happy. Must see wrestling season has started here tonight. Or I should say the return. I guess Six Killer said he managed to get a couple friends to, to let him uh, use this arena for the show tonight. And I thank uh, those friends that helped Six Killer out. Oh, you better believe it. I'll tell you what, I love Vegas. Yeah, they call it Sin City, but you know what? It's still beautiful. Oh, my gosh. And everybody's going to be saying, what about the crime? But you know what? Every city's got crime. This is a beautiful attraction. Hello there, Reverend Morbid. Wow. We got Reverend Morbid, Marcus Cass, and Splash Mikey all on the uh, forum right now. Splash Mikey has a matchup later on him, and last year you're going to defend those Tri American Tag Team Tells against Kit Dis, Reverend Morbid, and Mr. Resistor. But of course, don't forget, the winner of that world title match gets to go against Morbid next weekend. Hello there, sir. Hello there, Morbid. And there is Morgan Frost right there. And of course, he is the TV champion. They forgot to mark this down as a TV title match, and uh, it is still a TV title match. Just to let you know. Accents do happen on the booking. I'll tell you that much right now. Oh, uh, yeah. It's great to have this back. MSW is back, ladies and gentlemen. I, I'm stoked. I can't. This is going to be great. <laughs> Oh, and M M Bomber looking for a little vengeance against Mor uh, against Morgan Frost. Mr. Cold-Hearted. Yeah, definitely. Unfortunately, the match did not end too well for Bomber the way he wanted, and as a result, Frost became the TV champion. But this is going to be, a, this should be a matchup against, uh, between two bruisers here. And our referee here, Odell Larson tonight.
You know, win your match like tonight, just like the Chargers beat the football team close but good. Wow. I keep forgetting the NFL started off and uh, you're, well, our original home where MSW is at for Cleveland. Uh, unfortunately, uh, they, didn't, they, they had a decent game, but there wasn't enough. Oh, man, I'll tell you what, yeah. But don't worry, there's still 15 more games in the season. Who's your team, Allie? Oh, God, I used to, I, I don't know. I used to like, right now I got to admit something. I used to like New Orleans at one time because of Drew Brees, but now, who knows? The new look Rams, I heard, yeah. I heard they got a new quarterback over there, definitely. And right now, bomb, let's get back to the matchup here. So we got Bomber going after Frost. Bomber looks like he's on top of Frost. He looks like he might study a few tapes of Frost. Oh, you ain't kidding. Wow. We'll see if it pays off for the uh, big guy. One. Oh, man, not so fast. We'll see if there's, oh man, Bomber, I'll tell you what, he's doing all kinds of scientific moves and he falls count anywhere, match. This is weird. It's like, the, it's so says, it's like so says the guy that wants to cheat in every scientific match. Yeah, opposite page in a book and right now an earthquake sit down by Bomber. And Bomber sitting up, sitting up off Frost. Oh boy. Oh man, what a gut wrench. And now Frost has an open door there, an open door of opportunity if you can take advantage of it. Yeah, if Frost nails that Frost Breaker. Oh wow. Bottle's got an answer to everything that Frost has uh, been throwing at him. Wow. Bomber's like that lone wolf just about. I'll tell you that much right now. And uh, yeah, the thing, that's the thing. Of, oh, man. Beautiful uh, shining wizard by Morgan Frost. And look at Morgan Frost taunting the fans saying, look at the bomber now. Yeah, this is weird, man. I mean, uh, you know, it's like every time you set it up, they want to fight outside the ring during scientific matches. But uh, on the other hand, they want to... Uh, now they want to go inside. They want to go inside the ring during the outside brawl. And Bomber kicks out. Wow. Last time I remember Frost hit that Frost breaker on him, and uh, he got pinned. But uh, Bomber, yeah, wow. Oh man, what a uh, beautiful takedown by the Bomber. Oh damn. Wow. And right now, the bomber. Oh, what another gut wrench. S somebody's been eating their wings. No, and Frost breaks out of it again. Wow. Like I said, so great to have you guys back here tonight. I'll tell you that much. I mean, at home and also here in Vegas. Oh, what a jumping elbow there by... The Bratton Bomber. Wow. Grizzle vet he is. And I know I, I was I know quite a few people didn't have a great vacation while we were on that uh uh was it that sabbatical because there was a lot of people that uh went to Samus's wake. So tragic. I was down there too. I mean, oh man, it was it was, it was heartbreaking. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Samus, I remember. Uh-oh, Frostbreaker again. Oh, man, and right there, he rolls over the, for the pin. And Morgan Frost will win it this time. Wow. He does.
He got him his right, definitely. Yeah. If the bomber couldn't do, who, who's able to take the TV title off of Frost? That's going to be the question. I don't know. I mean, yeah. Frost is uh, tough, man. I'll tell you that much right now. No doubt about it. And there's your winner right there and still the television champion. And a lot of boos coming in for Morgan Frost. And he look at him, he's looking at him like, I don't care. I'm still your champion. What a way to start off the show. Uh, come up next matchup we got. Eight woman battle royal. And the reason we're doing this, here's the thing about it. tonight the Universal and the women's titles will be on the line. Winner of this match will get a uh, shot at Akira later on tonight for the world title. On the other hand, the runner-up will get a shot at Dana Brooke later on tonight. So, for if you're the winner or you're the runner-up, guess what? You got big opportunity. Oh, my God, yeah. S such a big opportunity. I'll tell you what, right now, we got... Uh, yeah, we revived the women. The, the women's division has been revived a little bit. I tell you that much right now. I mean, basically, we lost some potential pieces. And as you notice, I don't wear the Glamour t-shirt anymore because I no longer work for them. Well, good. That means we still got you here. Yeah, you still do. I don't even know if I was going to think about even going down there exclusively just because they did. And then, of course, yeah, it was the end completely when Mona and Raquel went down to uh, left the left area after losing the tag team titles and Anna J and T Ty Conte. Yeah, that was a shock. I mean, that was on an AEW card too. And I guess let let the uh, let the ta let the uh, talent uh, trade off begin. I guess well, not a trade off. I should say let the uh, open doors begin. But we got Chris Statlander, we got Genocide, we got Miss Wonderland, Susu Chow, Britt Baker, Sweetness, who went back to her normal self again, I guess after being glammed up for that date with uh, Malachi, Lady Frost and Daphne. Oh, Christopher's pissing a fit. I'll tell you that much right now. I think I heard not only mad at Malachi, but he's also mad at Phantom Zone Management. I heard r rumors, I heard. But Christopher's got a chance if uh, maybe Genocide and Sweetness can be one and two. Either way, he can wind up winning both the his women can wind up winning both those towel shots tonight. Oh my gosh. Well, we got some matches coming up for Wednesday on Big Time Wrestling. We just signed one. Uh, Kenny Omega's going to go against the winner of the Battle Royal later on. And then, of course, we also got just signed... Pierce Perch against Grit depend if Grit and Grit and Perch do not win that battle royal later on. Oh man, yeah, those two have something else. I mean, not you know what? In my opinion, if I was Grit, no matter how hugs Perch gets you, I hate to say it. The way that whole situation be gone, what the heck? You know, you were so you were supposed to relish the victory by. Uh, Winning that town, all of a sudden Perch comes down there and uh, ruins it. And right now, Sweetness has Dr. Britt Baker DMD. And of course, we all know why she's got that glove on. The joint lock job. Yeah, that brings a Saturn Mandible Claw combination. Wonderland's going to Frost. Genocide's going after Susu Chow. A lot of stuff going on here. Oh, and Britt Baker hits that turnbuckle hard there. Because Sweetness, she's got a lot of power. And Marcus the King says he's feeling hype tonight. Well, good for you, man. Hey, that's going to be awesome. I think we're all feeling hype as uh, wrestling fans tonight. And uh, we're all back on the air, which is great. There, there, I, you know what? I don't know. I was, I was actually thinking about going down to 
WCW and signing uh, a contract with them to do uh, announcing. Well, I'm glad you don't do that either. Yeah, so am I. I didn't realize the big uh, surprise that happened. And I'll tell you what, this is going to be great. And right now, uh-oh, here we go. Rip Baker trying to get rid of Lady Frost. Of course, these girls had a run in on Vince McShams AEW where uh, Britt Baker had a, battle, a hell of a battle with Frost, but uh, came up short. I mean, uh, uh, that would be Lady Frost that came up short. I'll tell you that much right now. And, you know. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to get myself together as uh, we're, we're, we're doing this. I mean, this is, this is an exciting day. I'll tell you that much right now. Very exciting day. Ronnie and Kyle won't be able to stop you tonight. Only time to can tell, man. I, I, you know, you were, you did well in that ladder match. I'll tell you that much right now. Yeah, originally it was going to be Ronnie against. Uh, Ronnie against Marcus, and uh, Ronnie decided to change it up to uh, a uh, Extreme Rules match. It's like, oh, I guess Six Color agree. I guess Six Color cooperate with him. So there's the reason why. And right now we see quite a few people out. Genocide and Sweetness is still in it. Wow, Susu's gone. Wow. Oh no, Susu's still there. Statlin is still in it. You better hope so for sure, man. I'll tell you what. But the thing that it's going to be sad about, I guess, and this was very unselfish at Terminus. I'll tell you what right now. Uh, basically, he says uh, he says that they, he has no problem giving up the tag team title so Kyle Bennett can enjoy a uh, title reign as world champion if he wins it tonight. Terminus has already been two-time champion. Yeah, that, that is so correct. I'll tell you that much right now. And what sweetness is going to do, Statlander? Is she going to close down Area 51 by throwing her over the top rope? I mean, this is a hell of a battle world. They know what's on the line here tonight. A second opportunity. Dude, do they get paid double? I think they do. No doubt about it. I'll tell you that much right now. Oh, man, what a neck breaker by Daphne on genocide oh man natural selection on genocide holy cow and these girls I mean man they know what yeah like I said once again they know what's on the line that's the reason why uh, they're giving it their all. Yeah, now this is working agreement we got with AEW. It's going to be really interesting. Tony Khan has opened up a forbidden door for us to work on, him, which is beautiful. I guess because Khan says he likes six calories, he's a fan of six calories. Business uh, tactics. Yeah, I heard about that. Tony Khan has a great respect for Bobby Six Killer. Oh my God! Oh, Wonderland just sent sweetness of the rope. Are you serious? Wow. Where the hell did she get the power surge to do that? Holy cow! Oh, and there goes Statlander. Holy cow! Another favorite gone. Oh, and there's a neck breaker by Daphne on Britt Baker. Breaker and Baker. <laughs> and right now, Susie Chow going at it with uh, Britt Baker. Oh, man. What's she going to do now? 
Oh, curb stomp. Oh, my God. Duke, I got a question. If uh, Britt Baker's here, are we going to see Adam Cole here, too? Yeah, unfortunately so. Looks like it. Omega has told me that we will see uh, we'll see him make his uh, return here to Musty Wrestling down the road. Such a shame. Indeed it is. And right now, Susu Chow going after Wonderland. And we're looking at who's all in this one, folks. And I'll tell you what. This has been one of the toughest battle royals. They're not flying. They're not dropping like flies. They're, they're staying in here, folks. Oh, and Daphne takes the uh, opening and takes down Wonderland. She just closed down Wonderland, ladies and gentlemen. And now she's going after the Tri-American Champion. Daphne will love another opportunity. She was MSW Women's Champion. She will love another opportunity. I have to win those titles tonight. I'll tell you that much right now. And, Britt ba and now Britt Baker. And Marcus is talking about he'll, the fans will be seeing both Rip City and Death Rising. They might be seeing Graves calling also and the uh, and the uh, camel clutch from Makai tonight. Who knows? I mean, that's another thing too. To everybody in that match, I hope you got your, both your opponents well scouted, scouted because you know what? Yeah, we'll put it that way. Yes, and Britt Baker just got slammed over the top by Genocide. Holy cow. That woman is a beast. And it's down to Daphne, Susu Chow, and the uh, question is after one more person gets eliminated from here, we'll find out. Uh, well, the, the good news is that the last two women will have title will have title shots later on in the program. We just have to they will just have to figure out which ones are going to get what. Oh no! And oh, and Daphne going over. Oh man! Wow! It's down to Genocide and Susu Chow. So we know those are the final two. Holy cow! This is going to be good. No doubt about it. And right now, Susu Chow looking to uh, close the book on this battle royal. I do not believe I just hear. Coming up next is going to be it's going to be Miro, the TNT champion. Yeah, he's in action against somebody making their day their professional wrestling debut, not just an MSW debut, a professional wrestling debut. And who's the, who's the guy's name would be? Somebody by the name of Brody Williams. And oh boy, the rollover and oh, beautiful uh, combination. Roll over into a sit out power bomb. Wow. And right now, there we go, folks. We got Genocide taking it to Susu Chow and oh man, she just clobbered Susu. Oh, and Susu uh, reverses, and she's going to try to get the girl over. Oh, my gosh. She does this. This is going to be a major feat of strength, too. Oh, I forgot. First person eliminated was Lady Frost. Yes. Yeah, the six co I guess, said he uh, managed to get a uh, lease on the arena tonight to, to hold this card, so he decided to have it tonight. So he does apologize. If it, if it put a cramper in anybody's plans. He was uh, really stoked about uh, wanting to get back into action. And right now, we got, oh boy, Genocide might be going over. Oh gosh. Is she, all she gotta do is turn around her belly like a turtle. 
That's a giant size turtle, I'll tell you I'll watch right now, Allie. You ain't kidding. You are not kidding. Oh, genocide holding on to dear life, and oh man, she tried to nail nail her in the knee in the back to eliminate her, and genocide with the beautiful kip up kick. Oh gosh. And I bet Christopher's licking his chops in the back that his girl is causing all kinds of carnage. Coolness, uh, thank you. I, uh, six Go will greatly appreciate that. Definitely. And oh, choke slam. My gosh. And right now, Susu may be in a little bit of trouble. Could Genocide wind up getting the title shot against Akira tonight? And right now, sorry to hear that shockwave. Yeah, definitely. Get well soon, my friend. Definitely. Oh, oh man, and oh boy, her back gave out on that one. Wow. Must have took too much beating that, uh, basically. But she gets over the beautiful Russian leg sweep, which uh, doesn't require really, like, much back uh, ability. But she better be careful not, not to bang that back harder. I'm pretty sure he would be. Why not? Oh, man, and there's a claw. It's clobbering time, it looks like. Genocide is just clobbering like the thing would do to somebody from the Fantastic Four. Oh, man, what a shove. Oh, my gosh. There, there is just some epic stuff going on here. I'll tell you that much right now. Unbelievable. The question is who bet... Who wants a cure of badly in the wing tonight? That's gonna be the question. And uh-oh, looks like Genocide, Genocide just punched a ticket. But Susu will be wrestling Dana later on tonight. Wow. What? Well, yeah, I heard something about that. He's uh, getting, I heard rumors he's getting his friends together. What Shockwave was talking about, he heard that Kenny Omega left NWO 2.0. Right now, I. You know, I think I see him in the back talking to Adam Cole, Gallows, and Anderson. With those guys being here, could the Bucks be far behind? That's the question I want to know. On top of it all, could there be a, maybe a future battle with the NWO 2.0 in the Elite? That'd be, that would be something else. But there's your winner right there, and who's going to challenge Miss Akira tonight for the uh, world title. But, of course, don't forget Susu Chow will challenge Dana Brooke later on tonight. So, there you go. All right, folks, let's get this going here. Oh, wow. CM Punk also left, damn. And Sting coming in the ring right now. Well, if you've seen the things at Shockwave Wrestling, he was with uh, Kevin Sullivan and Shadow and the Twilight Society. But of course, who's he gonna wind up being with down here in uh, Must See Wrestling? It's a, it's a whole different ball game. I'll tell you that much right now. But let's get the ring right now as so we're gonna see Sting come down the ring. Let me tell you something right now, Las Vegas, Nevada. You are back from must-see wrestling action, and I couldn't be more stoked. The Stinger is here. Let me tell you something right now. Everybody's questioning my alliance with Kevin Sullivan Shockwave Wrestling. It's only a Shockwave thing. I'll tell you that much right now, because Kevin Sullivan and Shell have been indefinitely suspended here, especially with Shell's comments talking about burning it down. I even asked her what the hell's going on with that. 
So, I'm down here and I brought a little friend of mine with me as we're going to face off against Anthony Wolf and Tyler Jacobs later on. That's right, I brought the future of wrestling. I brought the uh, guy who reminds me so much of Jeff Hardy, and his name is Darby Allen. And I'll tell you that much right now. And you know what, Musty Rustin, I'll tell you what, I, I'm here to, I'm here, uh, to uh, maybe join an alliance. Me and a couple friends have been talking. And we're ta and you know what I'm gonna tell you that much right now. I mean, let's talk about it for a second. I mean, after all, you know what? I guess everybody wants a stinger's advice. And you know what? I'm not gonna fail you guys. I promise you that much right now. If I do, then you you can kick me out on my tail and tell me and call it a day with me. You know what? I'll promise you that much right now. I won't hold you any verbal contract or anything. But I'm gonna tell you what. The singer is back, and I'm feeling good because we are here. Must see wrestling, Las Vegas, Nevada. The grand place of them all, and thank you, Bobby Six Killer. And I'm gonna tell you that much right now. And yeah, these lights are a little bright here. It's like, okay, damn, darn light crew. I'll tell you that much right now. But I'll tell you what right now. I'm looking forward to helping out Darby, I mean, Darby's been having a little problems as late because he found out who his father was and stuff like that and it's like it's a it's a little it's a little pro it's a little problem there only reason why we teamed up with Sullivan's that uh I do have problems with Bret Hart I'll put it that way I respect him as a wrestler but him uh crying about stuff you know it's like I do respect you know but I do respect him the respect is still there it's just you know what tone it down a little bit man tone it down Wow, Stinger is uh, here for the fans here. I mean, that's a quite different story in Shockwave Wrestling. I'll tell you what, I mean, uh, Stinger's always a popular guy. And I'll tell you what right now, when he was a bad guy, like in uh, Ding and stuff like that, <laughs> I don't know, I just couldn't buy it. Even when he was in the uh, NWO, I mean, when he was with the main event Mafia, I don't know, I, maybe it's just me. Who knows? You got a point, Allie. Probably, and coming up next, we got Rusev defending the TNT title. Not defending TNT title. He, he's not putting it on the line, but he's going against a guy that's making his professional wrestling debut tonight. Brody Williams. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, what? Are you, are you mesmerized by Brody? I don't know. Well, let's go take it back to Tony Schiavone. Hello there, folks. Tony Schiavone back here with you from Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm here with the TNT champion, Rusev. Get it right, Tony. I'm God's gift to wrestling. And I'll tell you what right now. I heard Crybaby Kingston talking about wanting another shot against me. He says, I use cheap tactics. You want your butt beat badly by me? That's fine. I'll tell you what. Let's do it Wednesday. I'll put the TNT title on the line on foreign soil, which is MSW. But tonight, watch what I'm going to do to this snot-nosed punk that's making his debut. I'm going to make him run out of the wrestling business real quick. All right. You heard there from Rusev. God's gift of wrestling. Get back to you guys. Yeah, I don't know what went on going on here, but here is Brody Williams. We don't know anything about him, but he is making his debut here tonight. My, he looks like a tall drink of water. Did he get a height on this guy? 6'3", 270 pounds. He, like, he says he calls himself the Sledgehammer. We'll see if he lives up to that name tonight against somebody that's uh, the TNT champion been unbeatable ever since coming to AEW. Yeah, Miro is dangerous. I'll tell you that much right now. Miro is something else. And I'm still incensed about the way he uh, cheated against Eddie Kingston. Oh my gosh. So Sullivan has conned the Stinger and Allen. I wouldn't doubt it. Sullivan's got that charisma to con people. No doubt about it. But like I said, Sting says since uh, Sullivan and Shell are not here, 
He says it's a new playing field for himself. So, uh... The guy is just looking on. He's, uh... Look. And I'll tell you what, wow. Brody Williams. I wonder where he got his name from. Rumor says I heard that it, two of his favorite guys from years ago was Bruiser Brody and Steve Dr. Duff Williams who are no longer with us. Yeah. Those are two guys that can take a beating and basically uh, take it to... Uh, and there he is, folks. Wow. I'll be back. I'm going to go get some coffee, Allie. Would you like some? Sure. Yeah. Oh, my. We got Eddie Kingston. Yeah, I'm coming to, I, I, I come to watch this Russian Buffalo uh, saying he's going to give this guy a lesson. I'm going to hold. I'm going to laugh if this rush. I'm going to laugh if this Russian Buffalo gets beat by this kid. The kid looks like he's very sturdy. I'll tell you that much right now. What did you say how much he was and how much he, how tall he was? 6'3", 270 pounds. That's a sturdy weight. I'm going to tell you that much right now. And you know what? I'm going to redeem these nuts coming up on uh, Wednesday. And if you don't know what that, you, you know what? If you don't know what that means, I'll tell you what. Here's the thing about it. And excuse my bluntness. I got cheated out of that TNT title by Miro by Miro to zero here because he decided to low blow me while the referee was not looking. I'm doing good, my friend. How about yourself? Talking to people on the forum, talking to you, talking to a gorgeous spectacle like you, Ali. I mean, oh man, and uh, Miro just dropped uh, Brody Williams. Oh man, and this is not good. Wow. Miro is merciless. I'll give him credit, but you know what? Here's the thing about it. He's a cheater. Oh, man, he gets caught. Ah, bummer. Oh, no. He's going to work on the Boston Crab. Oh, boy. Oh, man, he's working on the leg. Oh, gosh. Oh, ow. Oh, and look at that. Williams, I guess Williams knows what he did. Oh, man. What a kick to the ribs on Miro. Holy cow. Oh, man, he clobbers him with a run. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, belly to belly. He just took 300 pounds easily. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Maybe I like this kid. Who knows? And Brody, he just deadlifted that. Wow. Is that venom and carnage I see on his arms for tattoos? I think it might be. And Brody right now, give it to Miro no matter what. Oh, clobbers him in the forearm, and now, uh-oh. Oh. Wow. I like this kid. He's been showing the fight against this, against this uh, pest. And I'll call him. Oh, man, and Miro finds a way to get out of the elbow. He does have it. He probably has more experience than Brody, no doubt about it. Oh man, Brody just hit the uh, turnbuckle hard and oh man, oh, oh, what a nasty clothesline! Love it. Hurt him. Hurt him, Brody. What the heck? This. Oh my gosh, cut wrench. Oh man, he just, oh gosh. And now, oh gosh, what's going on here? And, oh. Oh Yeah, definitely, I, you know, that's a good point. Hopefully they call, man, a referee, I don't know, maybe the referee won't need a call if, if uh, Brody keeps giving me the mirror like that. Almost, wow. Oh, wait a minute, what is he doing here? Uh-oh. 
Oh, swinging that breaker. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> And Solomon giving a warning to Sting. Oh my gosh, man. You know, like, yeah, like I said, uh, Solomon's not here, so Sting could do whatever he wants. And I got respect, I got mad respect for that guy. Oh man, come on. Come on, Brody, kick. Oh, there you go. Wow. Yeah. Man, I can understand the uh, lining behind it. I'll tell you what, right now, I mean. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, pile driver. What the hell? Yes. Wow. Oh boy, what's he gonna do here, and Oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh, spear. Allie, I think you're liking this match too, aren't you? Oh. The claw. Wow. Oh man, and oh my gosh. This is impressive. Brody Williams. What the heck? <laughs> I got mad respect for this guy the instant he made his debut in here. Wow. I'll tell you, if my job becomes easy to become the TNT champion, I am definitely going to take that guy out for dinner and, and around the drinks if he wants. Wow. This may be a guy to watch. Brody Williams. Holy Brody Sledgehammer Williams, and he lived up to it. I wonder if Tony Schiavone can get a word with him. Let's hope so. Yeah, so much for him being God's gift to Russ, and he just got, you know, he looked good at the beginning, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, we just watched this kid make a spectacular debut. And wow, Cody Williams, your victor right here, folks. I love the uh, Venom and Carnage tattoos on his arms. And he's soaking in the fans' cheers, folks. Let's find out what's going on next, folks. What ha what what happened? You just missed a debut, Duke. Did I? Brody Williams just beat the TNT champion in a non-title match. Oh, wow. Coming up next, we got... What the heck is this? Oh, you freaking kidding me. Anthony Wolf and Tyler Jacobs? Oh, are you kidding me? Have they went down that road? Oh, gosh. Are you kidding me? As they go against Sting and Darby Allen. But of course, before this, I guess Sullivan has sent a text message to Sting saying, Listen up, Sting, I told you. I could pave the way for you and your war, Darby Allen and Shockwave. Matt Bennett is standing in your way, and Bret Hart is old school and can't handle you of this new age. I can help you navigate these waters, Sting. Do not burn this bridge. I don't know if I heard correctly from Sting... Unfortunately, he's not able to team up with uh, Sullivan and Shell because they've been suspended by MSW. Until, I guess, uh, what, until maybe, what, they get psychiatric evaluation? That could be possible. Who knows? Yeah, Tully Blanchard, clean out the idiot factory. No longer here's Steve Austin, no longer is Eli Drake. And neither is Merle Fisher. And now he looks like he's rebuilding, trying to rebuild with Jacobs and Wolf.
Tell you what, right now, this should be a good matchup here coming up. Yeah, it looks like so. We have a new idiot factory, no doubt about it. I'll tell you that much right now. After this, I heard it's going to be Reverend Morbid and Mr. Resistor to go against the Warhounds for the Tri-American Tag Team titles tonight. Hello, folks. Tony Schiavone back here, and I'm I, I'm here trying to get a word with Brody Williams. Brody, any words or comments? <laughs> not now. Not now. Uh, I'll talk when I'm ready to talk. I'll talk. I, you know what? Hey, I, I'm sorry. All right. I guess Brody Williams made it short and sweet. Let's get the ring right now. Wow, man, a few words. I'll tell you that much right now. Yeah, I, I seen him just pulverize Miro. It's like Miro had it at the beginning, and then all of a sudden, basically, I seen Brody Williams just take over. And Tully Blanchard gets his hands into a couple of controversial stars. Anthony Wolf and Tyler Jacobs. Yeah, so we have a new idiot factor. Yeah, it looks like we do. Um, so sorry, fans. I guess we thought Tully Blanchard was rid of the minute they uh, ruined, they basically uh, dismantled it. I guess Eli Drake left, and then of course Austin left, and then after Merlin Fisher left for uh, yeah, basically. Here we go, folks. We got Stinger coming down the ring right now. Of course, I got to do it like this because YouTube decided to try, uh, I guess, uh, WWE tried banning the video just because of Sting's Scorpion video. So, you know what? Not worth it. The Stinger, he made his point across. Yeah, he sure did, I'll tell you what I mean. Uh, I don't think it was a blow, you know what I have, and the weird thing about it, I'm gonna tell you what, I don't think it was a blow to Sullivan. It was just uh, what he says he's gonna be doing here in Musty Wrestling. I mean, Duke, I, you remember the story in 1988 in Texas and Tennessee when Jerry Waller used to go down there? In Texas, he was the most hated son of a gun in the world. In Tennessee, he was the most popular guy in the world. And daily shout out time for Marcus. Let's hear what he's got to shout out to. Probably going to deal with some with the NFL because basically, uh, that's what happened. And here comes Darby Allen. Yeah, so right now, as we know, I'm Shockwave. Allen and Sting are with Sullivan. Just in must-see wrestling, they're doing their own different program. Because that's what they gotta do, because Sullivan's been banned for uh, manipulating uh, Chris Bat's wife and the daughter of uh, Chaz Foreman, whose name, who is uh, Bethany years ago. Not only that, uh, we got, uh, Show who's been right now serving a suspension for threatening to burn down the place, and we we don't take that lightly. Ever since what these two idiots decided to do. Yeah, I knew it was going to be a shout out to the NFL. Yeah, there you go. Like I said, a couple of great returns today. The NFL and must see wrestling. Oh, Duke, you know which one I'm excited for. Oh yeah, definitely. I uh, just gotta—it's gotta be where we're at right now. You better believe it. Oh man, and Anthony will just kick Sting in the face there. Oh, 
But there's Sting right there, known when to nail his shots. And now he grabs Wolf, puts him in a, oh, beautiful clothesline. You know, this would be a kick in the pants for Wolf and Jacobs and Blanchard if Sting and Darby Allen beat them tonight. And I can understand the story. Another great example, Ali, uh, about that uh, doing uh, playing two uh, sides at, at a time would be Boozer Brody. We all remember he was the most beloved guy in uh, Texas. And then when he goes over to the AWA, he was the most hated son of a gun in the business. Yeah, I think Sting's playing both sides of the coin, which, you know, it's not bad. I mean, if you can uh, basically, uh, I guess, succeed. And uh, hey, more power to you. But he's talking about future alliances. Who, who is he thinking about joining up with? I don't know. That's going to be interesting. Oh, and Dar... Oh, gosh. Oh, man. German suplex clothesline combo by Tyler Jacobs. Now, I think if I'm correct, he's the bomber. Yeah, Anthony Wolf is known as the arsonist. These are uh, criminal activities here. Well, Six Killers thinking about laying shell off suspension, definitely. So that will remain to be seen. I mean, not tell you that much right now. There's Preston Rose who suspended Shadow. But Six Girls thinking about giving her a chance and letting her uh, maybe succeed here, basically. No doubt about it. Oh, and Stinger gets German suplex. Holy cow. Holy cow is right. And oh boy. Oh, go to sleep. I think Punk might have something to say about that. Oh, man, code breaker. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, he nailed him. He rattled him. Going for the pen. Oh, man, the future wins. Gosh. And Darby Allen not too happy. Wow. But who, you know who's happy? Tully Blanchard. Yeah, he is. No doubt about it. Future breaker, no doubt about it. I don't know, every time I see these two kids, they make me sick. Oh yeah, because they're antics? Yeah, no doubt about it. Especially what they did to Perch and uh, Michelle. That was a little too brutal, I think. But there are your winners right there, Wolf and Jacobs. Who knows, maybe you need Kevin Sullivan in the corner. Or whoever they were talking about. Well, folks, coming up next, we got the Tri-American Tag Team Championship on the line. Morbid and Resistor going against... Lashley and Splash Mikey for those titles. Tag, tag Team Extreme Rules. That means everything is legal here. Six-car figured that uh, Morbid needed to be on the card. I mean, uh, 
What's that? I, I, because the fans, I, I, he's another guy that they love. Oh, definitely. Yeah, of course, Resistor, he, uh, he's a longtime ally of Morbid. Well, I just heard we just signed up another matchup tonight here on, uh, on the return. Get this, the Wolf Pack, Wolf Child and Lorenzo, guess who they're going against? Suzuki Gun, Minoru Suzuki, and Lance Archer. Yeah. I'm shocked about that one. Oh my gosh, wow. You mean bad grandpa's here? Evil grandpa? Yeah, evil grandpa is here. All courtesy of that AEW agreement. And Suzuki, if he gave Moxley a hell of a time before losing on uh, Dynamite... I wonder what he's going to do to Wolfchild and Lorenzo tonight. Minoru Suzuki, good God, we got Evil Grandpa here. I think that's his name I heard. I did hear something like that. Oh my gosh. And there they are, folks. More, I guess they're calling so we couldn't. They couldn't figure out a name for the tag team, so I guess it's going to be called Morbid Resistance. I like that actually. Yeah, Robert Morbin in a short time has become a very popular superstar. I'll tell you that much right now. Let's call it what it is. And I get. I guess I got a thumbs up from the fans, so it's a it's a go. Wow, cool. Okay. And there they are, folks. Lashley and Splash Mikey. And there you are, folks. Resistor and Morbid. Morbid resistance. There they are. Now that's going to be an interesting thing about it. Okay, uh, if Morbid wins the tag team tells here tonight, and he, but if he would win the world title next weekend, What's going to happen? Is he going to keep the tag team? Is he, would he keep the tag team titles or would he uh, keep the world title? This is going to be interesting, folks. Here we go. I'll be right back and go down refreshment stand. Yeah, I'll go down afterwards. I, you know, I'm not going to miss this one. What the heck? I'm pretty sure they got the coffee pot all, all was it all, all there all night, man. Tell you that much right now. 
And look at, oh, Splash Mike, you a nasty neck breaker to resist her. Oh my gosh. If Morgan wants to win this match, focus on beating down Mikey and then finish off Lashley. Yeah, let's see what, take out the tall drink of water that comes on Splash Mikey. Good strategy. Oh man, right there and oh. Nice drop kick by the resistor, but no, no uh, budge by Mikey. Oh man, and Mikey just squashed him in, on the outside. Yeah, Morbid, yeah, Morbid could have possibly won the AEW World Title Battle Royal, but uh, he has that World Title next week uh, for the MSW World Title, but I wouldn't mind seeing maybe if it would turn out to be that way. Uh, heck, a Morbid Omega match. Morbid Omega would be interesting. I'll tell you that much right now. And right now, oh, and Lashley, man, taking a Morbid. Oh boy, it's, oh gosh, German suplex. Oh gosh, man, and, and resist again dropped. Oh, what's Lashley gonna do here? Is, uh, is he planning to do something nasty? No, more of it happened to fell off the barricade. I was gonna say, don't tell me Lashley's gonna try to Squash him through a barricade. Oh, beautiful neck breaker on Resistor chopping the tree down. He sure is. That was beautiful neck breaker. I can tell you that much. Oh man, he tried to slam him in. Splash Mikey just can put, uses that height as a weapon. What? Oh man. I usually like calling it the flip top neck breaker. And here we go. Oh, gosh. That's going to rush the neck. Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, man. He oh, man. And that, that may be the bad thing. Oh, gosh. Oh, brain buster on Mikey. Uh oh, more of it roll. I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't blame him. I mean, uh, Eddie, Eddie Kingston has every right. Oh, man, look at this. And we got new Troy American Tag Team Champions. Morbid Resistance. Morbid's first tag team title. A night of first here on uh, Must See Russell in the return. We watched some impressive rookie beat the snow on Miro, and now Morbid has won his tag team titles. Him and Resistor, wow. This is beautiful. And it was all because of uh, Resistor nailing uh, Splash Mikey with that running kick. That is a big win for those two. Congratulations. Wow. The resigned kick. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, 
I'm pretty sure he's going to be watching that match later on tonight, no doubt about it. When Cass defends the title against Bennett and uh, Resistor. I mean, not Resistor, Terminus. I'm sorry. Get all these neat little names mixed up here. I do apologize. MSW World's TV Championship coming up next. Hakuro Shida versus Miss Alice. Hakuro Shida, another one of the superstars from AEW. Japanese import, definitely. Don't forget, Duke, former AEW Women's Champion. Yes. Hakuro Shida, nice to have her here, basically, with the, uh, with the talent exchange here. I mean, uh, basically, uh, AEW talent comes over here, and we, we, uh, we also let MSW talent come over there. Great example was when Ta uh, Ty Conte and uh, Anna J beat Mona and Raquel for those tag team titles. Well, it's all depend. The World Tag Team Tell is going to be one heck of a pickle right now. I'll tell you that much right now. Let's put it that way. The thing about it is, like, if Kyle Bennett wins the title later on tonight in the main event, those uh, World Tag Team Tells will go vacant and will be uh, have to div be uh, dependent on a uh, future matchup. That's what we heard. So, uh, just to let you know. Well, here we go, folks. Let's get ready for this big uh, battle between these two uh, ladies. I'll tell you that much right now. This is going to be a good one. And there she is, and there she is, folks. Uh, Hakura Shida. Never have faced Kyle Bennett before. This is going to be a challenge. Yeah, no doubt about it. Yeah, yeah. I know you faced Taylor multiple times, but uh, Bennett is. Uh, yeah, Bennett's going to be a whole interesting challenge. You know, Duke, there's one thing that uh, she would love to get back. And what would that be, Allie? That AEW Women's Championship. Looks like it does. You're right about that, Morbid. Congratulations, guys. All right. Tell you what, Allie, I'm stoked about this agreement with uh with AEW. 
Yeah, definitely. I'll tell you that much right now. And basically there it is right there, the TV title on the line here. The women's TV title, it's been a fixture here, I'll tell you that much right now. And I'm glad to see that Shockwave adopted that TV title, I'll tell you that, I'll tell you that much right now. Going to work on Miss Alice. Oh, wow. <laughs> Nasty stretching back breaker by the champion. Definitely, that's going to hurt. Oh, missed the elbow. There's, there's a break for Sheeta. Oh, man, but she gets decked. Oh, man, set it up. Uh-oh, what's going on there? And... Oh, man. Nasty. Cheetah has an unusual ar unusual arsenal of moves. And right now jumps on the knee. Ouch. We are beautiful. We are we are in beautiful. I should say we are here. In beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Oh, come on, Duke. We're beautiful. Let's put it that way. I guess you're right, Ali. We are after uh, what's going on here. And oh, sweet neck break by the champion. Could she be set up for that best moonsault? She has one of the greatest moonsaults in wrestling. No. And oh, man. Nails it perfectly. One. Two. No. Sheeta finds a way to get out of it. She's not going to go down easy like that feeling. Oh, no doubt. Oh, man. Oh, extreme makeover. And Miss Alice wins. She retains the title. Wow. Unbelievable. What a win for Miss Alice. Big win for Miss Alice. I'll tell you that much right now. That could be another step forward back into uh, getting a world or uh, getting a world or universal title shot for that matter. I'll tell you that much right now. 
Oh, indeed it is. I'll tell you that much right now. I mean, really great. Really great. And, folks, let's get going here. I think coming up next is going to be that uh, eight-man battle royal coming up. Oh, wait a minute. MVP? Oh, my gosh. You got to be kidding me. What is he doing here? That's a good question. Holy cow. MVP. Mr. Montel Vontavious Porter. Indeed that is. That's what MVP stands for. Yeah, what the hell is that all about? Oh boy, let's get going with this, folks. Yeah, yeah, he was uh, one time the captain of her business, isn't he? But he was ex Lashley's exclusive uh, advisor in uh, in the land of Stanford. What is he? I wonder what's brought him over here. Now, hello, wrestling fans. I'll tell you what right now. I'm a little pissed about something. And let me tell you something right now. And it deals with that. It deals with my my champion. My WWE champion is down here working for these idiots that's called the Warhounds. And I'm talking about you, Bobby Lashley. I'll tell you that much right now. And let me tell you something right now. Uh, and, uh, what are you doing tag team with that? Tall glass of idiot water. That what's his name again? Splash Mikey sounds like a crappy Kool-Aid flavor. I'll tell you that much right now that nobody buys off the shelf. They even try to sell the Dollar Tree and he can't even buy it off the shelf. I'll tell you that much right now. Bobby, you need to come back. You need to come back to greatness. I am over here. I'm gonna create another Hurt Business 2.0. And I brought a couple friends along to help me out. And you'll find out who they are down the road. I'll tell you that much right now. But Bobby, you need to come back. You are the staple piece of the Hurt Business. And let me tell you something right now. You know, you don't deserve to be around leeches like Heyman, Splash Mikey, and even that Uso Punk. They're bums. They're leeches. They suck the talent and life out of you. I'll take you to the top like I did in the WWE, trust me, you know? I'm the one that could make you the deals, I'm the one that could make you champion again, I guarantee, I guarantee you right now. And, you know what, you come back to the Hurt Business, I, I got your back covered my friend, I'll tell you what, I brought two bad hombres into this area who are going to help me out, no doubt about it. You fans might recognize one of them, but another one is a newcomer to this area. And I'll tell you that much. And the Hurt Business, when it's in full throttle, guess what? There is no stopping us. We, we take what we want, we destroy whoever we want. Period. And I'll tell you what. This is a new day, a new dawn. MSW to return, you know what? Yeah, you better damn well believe it. The return of the Hurt Business also. And I guarantee you that much right now. See you later, fools. Wow. What the heck does he mean? I don't know. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Yeah, when MVP speaks, he speaks a lot.
Well, I just heard some breaking news about the stuff. Number one, CM Punk is now a member of the NWO anymore. Number two, we got to get Mel... Bobby Sixkiller says after this battle royal, you will dress up in that chicken suit for whatever remaining days that there is on that contract with Fam Zone. Who did MVP... Who's the two that MVP talked about? He says one that fans are familiar with. And then... One that's a newcomer that people are get, get to know really quickly. Who are they talking about, Duke? I don't know. I'll tell you that much right now, but let's take a look at the people who got in this battle royal. Rockstar Steve, Grit, CM Punk, Amazing, Malachi, Pierce Perch, Baron Von Farkas, and GX3. Winner gets a shot at Kenny Omega this Wednesday on Big Time Wrestling. Chicken Kiev, yeah, you're right about that. Yeah, Kiev, that, that sounds kind of like Russian, definitely. I'd rather call him Chicken Idiot. Yes, that's what he is. I'll tell you what, I mean, this has been a pretty banged up night for the return so far. And we still got another segment still upcoming. Yes, we do, Allie. I'll tell you that much right now. And I mean, let's give out some shout outs to a few uh, people to check out on YouTube. God Mark 76, Vince McSham, Backyard Living, The Wolfman, Christopher Hovis. Uh, what is it? Uh, let me check and see if I can find... Uh, What's his face on uh, Fam Zone? Uh, I want to I want to get the right address here for this. And here we go, folks. We're gonna get this one going. And right now we see uh, Perch trying. We see Alvaro trying to get rid of Perch here. Check and see here real quick. Uh, I'll get you the uh, channel for uh, Fam Zone here as soon as I can, uh, I can find it. My apologies. And right now, everybody's playing it out here as we got uh, Rockstar Steven GX, GX3 going at it. And then we got, oh man, springboard covered by Perch. I bet uh, Malachi's happy to get out of this uh, outfit for a while, but uh, he's going to have to go back into it after uh, this match. No doubt about it. I think it might be Ryan Taylor, 1974. Yeah, yeah. give me a little time here. I'll check it out. And uh, Ronnie Taylor, that's the guy's name. Who's also wrestling for the MSW World Title tonight? And uh, oh man, GX3 just went over the ropes. Holy cow! Oh man, Peter Bats falling like oh my wow! Breaking this, we're gonna try to keep up with that the best we can. Well, no, nonetheless, uh, yeah, it's all dependent if Grit or uh, Perch does not win this Battle Royal. They uh, are going to go after a similar Wasteland title rematch Wednesday night. Oh, Lombard check by uh, Perch. Oh, man, and Admiral just got rid of... Amazing, wow. Amazing's going to be mad. Tell you what, and I wouldn't blame him. And uh-oh. Farkas just nailing uh, the cocky young Canadian with a uh, blasting suplex. And now, uh-oh. Uh 
And now Abramov trying to get Perch over. Oh man, and Grit uh, gets in the way of Abramov. Wow, that's quite amazing. Oh, CM Punk trying to go after Abramov here. Wow. Oh man, springboard forearm. Punk nails Abramov, and now Grit nailing Perch with a nice. Uh, yeah, right now we're gonna try to. We'll keep our prayers for Peter Bat. Tell you how much right now. That is uh, something else that's going on here, man. Um, oh, Farkas doesn't go over. Oh, boy. Oh, Farkas just draped uh, Perch's throat over the rope and saved himself. Oh, man. Gut punch time. Oh, man. Pepto Bozmo not included on that one. Oh, indeed. I'll tell you what, right now, oh boy. Wouldn't it be something to Abramoff on this battle royal? And he gets to go against his former NWO comrade? Yeah. Abramoff against Omega, that would be interesting. It's a battle between two, ego, uh, two egotistical giants there in uh, Abramoff and Omega, that's for sure, man. I'll tell you how much right now. Just almost uh, gonna get eliminated here by Grit if Grit has his way. Oh man. The fish man keeping up with Grit. I'll call him what he is. He, he's a fish man. <laughs> uh, don't mean it. No, nothing personal about Perch, believe me. I call him Mike Trout a fish man. And CM Punk gonna wind up deflecting a slap, but uh Oh no and oh man, are you kidding me? Aramoff's gonna get rid of uh CM Punk. And Quid is gone, holy cow. Oh wow. Oh man, look at that. Right the minute they uh, teamed up, uh, basically uh purchased, yeah. And Punk, we just, oh wait a minute. We see it off camera. Punk has just taken off the NWO shirt and said, I quit. Wow. Oh man, and Punch just got uh, trampled. Perch just got nailed now. Oh. Oh, and Perch is gone. Oh my god. It's down to Avramoff and Farkas? Wow. Oh, and Fergus just got busted open, and now Abramov. Wow. Good God, man.
Oh, deadline. Oh, gosh. Oh, man, look at that. Stop, stopping in his tracks is uh, Avramov. I mean, stopping Avramov his tracks is Farkas. Oh, man, and he just, he just took a nasty shot to the jaw. Holy cow. And now, uh oh, slammed over. Oh man, and now Farkas nailing away on uh, Abramoff. Bell rolls are very hard to win. I'll tell you that much right now. Uh-oh, Abramoff going over. Are you kidding me? Oh. And Farkas wins it. Wow. Baron Von Farkas scoring a big win there, and he's got a big opportunity. AEW World Title coming up Wednesday night. Wow. Unbelievable. Well, folks, guess what? That's segment number one. Indeed it is. Wow. We still got two more. We still got another segment coming up here. We're including with that big world title matchup. So uh, stay tuned for that one. But there's your winner right there. And who's going to face Kenny Omega this Wednesday night? It is going to be Baron Von Farkas. Stay tuned, folks.